Yeah, I mean, I think the first half, obviously, we, we struggled to get possession. Um, you know, Dave, uh, Davidson's draw person was really, really good. Um, but we kept making adjustments with who we had out there um, and was really proud that different people were ready to step up. And um, Mia really found her stride and, and did a great job and, and really led us and powered us through the second half on the draw. Tell me about playing Mia at the draw. Has mm -hmm. she ever done it before? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And why did you do that? Mm -hmm. So Mia took some draws um, her freshman year, and then with Caroline, um, she just didn't have – you know, necessarily, we just didn't need her to take the draw, but I knew that she had the ability to do that. And with her size and her strength, I thought that that might work and um, was really proud of her being able to step in, having not taken them in a while. Multiple great performances by multiple mm -hmm. players mm -hmm. today. Sam Geyer's back mm -hmm. got her 100th goal mm -hmm. as a spider. Mm -hmm. And Julie Ball, mm -hmm. 10 ground balls, five turnovers, Great defensive afternoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, um, JB all season has been just such a, a plugger for us and getting ground balls, getting draws, causing turnovers, um, and really kind of laying it all out on the field for us. Um, you know, I think, you know, with Sam, um, she's just hitting her stride. Um, and I think seeing her looks on cage and, and finishing really well, her shot looks great right now. Next game on the road versus UMass, mm -hmm. the team you guys defeated for the title last year. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they're looking forward to your arrival in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. Yes, quick turnaround. Um, you know, we head out tomorrow morning and just need to make sure that we're resetting um, and getting ourselves ready for um, a great opponent on Sunday. Yeah, I think um, the first half was a rough start, but we've been in that position before where the draw circle isn't going our way. But I think the biggest thing is that we didn't give up and we didn't lose confidence ever. We just switched around people and found the person that, you know, was getting it, which was Mia. And uh, I think with us, it's just we never we never give up. So even if it starts slow in the first half, um, we're always fighting. So tell me about your day. Ten ground balls, five turnovers. Uh, defense was excellent. Yeah, D, D was huge. I think um, this past week we really focused on getting back to basics of man-to-man -man in our zone, and I think that really helped us today because we felt a lot more connected out there. Um, my stats were good, but I think that the team win was uh, huge. I felt really connected um, on D all day, and um, we just came up with some huge stops there at the end. So, Next game on the road, a rematch with UMass, a team you beat in the title game last year. Your thoughts on that? We're excited. I think uh, we got a lot of momentum coming into this game. Um, we're fired up, uh, very ready for it. Um, yeah, we're just excited to play them again and um, defend our title. We made a lot of adjustments. I think we're a good team with realizing when to adjust and you know execute and adjust. That's what, what, one of the things we've been saying this season. Um, but I feel like a lot of it has transitioned from defense to attack and just the momentum building up, and we just knew not to lose that. Five goals on the afternoon, including your 100th career goal as a spider. What does that mean to you? I mean, it's it really is amazing coming off an injury, but I can honestly say that I wouldn't have been able to do it without my teammates. Most of my goals have been assisted, so they just know when to hit me, and they have just clear lanes for me, and they know what to do. You had the ACL. Just talked to Coach Qualick, and she said you were finally starting to, to hit your stride. Tell me about the comeback. I mean, it's definitely been tough. It hasn't been easy. Um, but I feel like a lot of my teammates have just been pushing me and pushing me and knowing when to just lift me up. And I feel like my, I've just had a breakout game a couple weeks ago. But uh, I feel like I'm back on track, and we're excited to keep it going. You did not get to play in last year's title game. So I'm sure the next game is very big in your mind, a rematch with UMass. And what was the title <coughs> game last year? Yeah, I mean, last time I saw UMass was championship game two years ago where they beat us by one. So I'm definitely really fired up. I'm ready to get some revenge and back up my team like they did last year.